Hey everybody, this is just a quick check-in video about everything that's been going on in the world lately. Um, and unless you're living under a rock or don't have access to internet or TV or anything, um, there's a huge global pandemic going on called the coronavirus, COVID-19, etc. And this is spreading globally and causing a lot of travel bans, airports shutting down, etc. So as someone that works as a travel writer, you can see how this can be a pretty difficult thing at this moment in time. So I thought it would be appropriate and necessary for me to make a video and talk about like what it's like to be working as a travel writer. The work that I'm doing is so insignificant as a travel writer compared to the work that you know doctors are doing, all of our healthcare workers, everybody that's on the actual front lines, like making sure that everything essential is being provided so that we can get through this time properly, efficiently, and safely. This can be easily spread and contracted, so you know we need to stay at home so this doesn't spread out dramatically. We're seeing a lot of the situations that have happened in countries where it's escalated out of control because there weren't any staying at home um, restrictions, there were no curfews, there were no border closings, and so this has all escalated. So if you have the privilege to stay home, please stay at home. If you can't stay at home, make sure you're practicing proper um, protocol and seated by who, washing your hands, keeping your face covered if you're infected, etc. You can find a lot more information from the who, and I'll drop a link under there to see uh, a little more if you want more information about the actual technical from the healthcare workers about what you can do to stay safe during this. I come from a country where it's pretty much everyone is living paycheck to paycheck and not even paycheck to paycheck day to day where they're surviving off of helping, uh, off of, sorry, off of help from their family members so they're literally going to the market every day and putting themselves at risk. So now the question stands, as a travel writer, travel blogger, what can you do at this time to stay busy? I think we all are having like cabin fever. Uh, well, I can speak for myself. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling like I am stuck at home and I've literally just been going between my two family houses and being around the same people and for someone that likes to be on the road all the time, it's difficult. But we have to do it. We have to stay at home, stay with family. Do not go and hang out at your friend's house. Um, you know, stay as isolated as possible if you can and if you have the privilege to. So, I thought of a couple things that you could definitely do to stay busy as a travel writer or blogger. I think this could be a great time. I think that when we have time to travel, we're constantly traveling. So this is a good time to go through if you have notes, go through your notes and try to come up with some articles if you want to. I don't think this is the time where we need to force ourselves to be productive. But if you feel like being productive, go through all of your old notebooks, all of your old notes, if you do notes on your phone, and try to make some articles come to life through that. Think of main ideas and try to start it off as a title and then just keep writing from there. If you really feel the need to travel, you can still go out and travel in your own town. Or I would suggest going to natural places, like if you have like a beach or a river or like a small forest that doesn't have people, I'm not talking about like a natural park or something, but somewhere that's isolated where people are not walking around, like an empty reserve where you can just walk to, be there, be by yourself, take in the air, explore the area, look around the landscape, get in the water if it's a water place, you know. And this would also be a great time to do some self-development. If there's something that you're learning, if you want to be a travel writer, this is a great time to actually develop it if you're interested in getting into travel writing. If you're already a travel writer, this could be a great time to develop your writing even better. You can do some online writing classes, you can read some books on writing. I know that that's what I'm personally going to be doing for improving my writing because I'm always trying to take it to another level. I think also we can just do other um, development projects for ourselves and capacity building, if there's anything that you think that you would be good at, that you'd be interested in, that you haven't had time to because you've been on the road, now's the time to look into that course that you wanted to do, that online learning class, forum, online conferences, because now people are learning about the strength of doing online conferences, Zoom calls, you know, this is a great time to take opportunity to use those tools. Feel free to reach out to me if you need any advice on setting up online conferences, setting up online workshops, if you need help with being an online facilitator, feel free to reach out to me, feel free to send me a message, and feel free to comment, like, or subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.